Hey, <laughs> my first down. First down of the uh, the ride back. So I come here and it was just going too fast. I got too cocky. And um, anyways, I was coming through here and I hit this. And you can see where it was leading me. It just took me off the trail and down I went. That would have been a better line, but I just didn't catch it. So it just trapped me in the in the rut. I tried to pull out, but oh well. Won't be my last fall. My little baby laying on his side. Oh, did a little cut on my hand. Anyways. I don't think I can pick this thing up. Well, this must have been what ripped my... It's like I butted my zipper. That, I must have hit it there. And uh, gouged me, even through my gloves. I'll have to take a look at the gloves. That's why I wear, I wear armor whenever I can when I'm off the trail, I mean off the road, because you never know. And uh, this stuff works. This stuff works good. Yeah, let's see if we can pick it up. Hey, when you crash, man, you just get it back on and keep going, man. You know, a little, little crash take you out. It's like, whoa! <laughs> just gonna say, don't let it psych you out. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was fun. Maybe I should try right in the middle of this thing. There we go. They just keep coming. This one ain't bad. Oh, shade. Let's go up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Gotta have that mirror. Gotta, gotta see who's coming up behind me. Probably some guy blowing by me on a 690. Hey, we can go cruising across the field. Anyways, let's see. We got to come to. I think there's a road up here. Let's get to it. Oh, 
I guess the middle is got to work. Man, I hate it when my when my ears. Ah. Ah, man. Every time it does that, it reminds me of uh, Star Trek, you know. When you put the worm in the guy's ear. No. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot who it was. Okay, we're gonna stay in the middle. Maybe. Nah, we're gonna go here. Little first gear action. And I see the I see the road up there or whatever it is. Uh, that was just, it happens. I mean, I try to pick my lines, but I gotta get up here and stop on the road. Hope nobody's coming. <laughs> oh well. That's all you can do is pick your line, and sometimes it'll bite you, man. I mean, you just, sometimes. Hey, I, I highly recommend army, armor. You know, when it's hot like this, it's it's hard anyway. But when you're wearing a coat with uh, padding and it's hot, it's got to be miserable. You know, this is netted, so it's I don't wear a shirt under it when it's this hot. So it gets air through it. And yet it's got full padding everywhere I need it. This thing is has helped me so many times. I would have been seriously hurt. Even on that one, I think I would have done some damage there. I was going pretty quick. I was moving along there and... Oh, okay, go straight. You know, um, some of these falls I take are lay downs. There's nothing, but some of them... Some of them moving along, you know. So I highly recommend. I know it's like motocross stuff, but I really don't care. I'm only 80, 81 miles from the bridge. That's where I crossed over. I got gas. You know, you get the weight on the back of the bike and you can't, uh, you can't hop out of those, uh, I know with the bigger bikes you could just pop a wheelie and pull it up over that. You gotta be pretty good to do it, but all this weight on this bike, I, especially if you don't see it, it's like you're going down before you even realize it happened so quick. Well, I think you guys get the uh, get the idea. We're just going to be on this for a while. 
I just wanted to show some of the trail here and there. Oh, wow. Uh, we'll, we'll see where, where, what happens, where it goes. Anything crazy exciting, I'll turn it back on. I mean, you can see where the, uh, the smoke is in the air from the fires. Damn them Canadians! Curse you! <laughs> oh, well, but maybe this way, yeah, you still see it. But anyways, we'll do a slow pan, the Missouri River, which I've been following. I think I ended up, see those? I don't know if you can see them or not. There's a bunch of hills hill line it goes all the way I mean that's what I came down the view a little while ago higher elevation came down those been following this what a great road and of course we're back <laughs> to miss Missouri again North Dakota <laughs> Nebraska no Dan no, it's uh, South Dakota, Nebraska. You'd think by now I'd know where I was at. But anyways, we're um, stopping for a break here, uh, right next to Old Baldy. And we're taking a look at the Missouri River panning east to west. And you can also see the road that I'm on. And uh, beautiful area, and really enjoying the ride here. We're getting ready. As we leave here, it won't be long, we're going to cross into South Dakota. And that'll end section two and begin section three, which is the South Dakota section. And we're going to stop at Fort Randall Cemetery here, so check it out. Typhoid, typhoid, pneumonia, drowned in the Mississippi River, killed by Indians at something station, pneumonia, something fever, pneumonia. Killed by Indians. Pneumonia. Scurry. Typhoid fever. Suicide. Crazy. Suicide again. Tuberculosis. Whooping cough, whooping cough. Found dead on prairie. What's the year, date of death? Oh, year, okay. 56, there's a 50, bunch of 56. So 56 is going to take 56 year. Those, okay, we gotta find the 56, and we want them in number 23, 24, 25, 26. You guys see it? Help me, help me, help me. 29, 24, 
23 okay they're gonna be that sidewalk that sidewalk that sidewalk here about four from the end oh, let's take a walk Eighteen eighty. Come on, guys, get with it. Find one that could beat fifty-six. You see it with your own eyes. Fifty-six. 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 Okay. Test. <laughs> let's see. Let's bury somebody. <laughs> we'll dig them up in a couple of years. We'll run a test. <laughs> I don't know. I actually found a spot back there um, and I keep it in the back of my mind I mean, look at all the grass oh I can't go in there look at all the grass man I could I just set up we're in the middle of the lawn there <laughs> that's not the that's not the one I have in mind When I have in mind, I'm going to have to be stealthy about this one, but it looks interesting. We'll see how that plays out. Hey, if I do it, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Yep. Yeah, pretty breezy up here. All right, we're going back into South Dakota.
Well, I had uh, I had a break and I had to just shoot in here real quick, so I'll show you guys on the way out. I, uh, came in back off that intersection there down this here, and I'm gonna not gonna camp here. I thought about it. I'm gonna go over here, back in the woods a little. Back out there somewhere. Let's just go do it. So it's getting late, and I'll be up early. I'm usually up six, six thirty, and I don't think it's really going to matter. So when I do this, I get the headlight off, but I didn't wire the tail light to go off, unfortunately. So. That would be. Oh, <laughs> I better pay. I'm looking over there. I think this is good. It's a little uneven back there. I just got to turn around. Okay, put the tent maybe right here. Put the bike right over there, maybe. So. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay. It's August 20th. We're in Pickstown. We're gonna go. The oh, the dam is there. Actually, the dam's further. This is the levee. And we're going to head right on the other side of it because coffee <laughs> restaurant there. Hopefully they're open. Or, um, it's I don't know. It's, it's probably close to eight. Got a late start. Slept. Man, I slept um, really deep sleep, and I woke up and it's like wow. It was uh, it was late already. But, uh, peaceful night. Let's do a little video on the way out. I told you guys I'd video coming in, but yeah, it was like uh, shooting a gap between uh, you know vehicles that were passing by, and I didn't want to sit there for a while and turn on the camera. So let's do that, and. Uh, I have some breakfast or at least coffee. Yeah, everything looked wrong, everything's picked up. So I'm uh, maybe maybe one third of the way through Nebraska. So it's, it's going to be a three-day ride. I got one down, two to go, and uh, even with that, it I'll be close to the border. If not, depends on what's coming up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mow your way through. I only had my weed whacker on the front. <laughs> this is a nice little area, I mean. Little inlet for DRZs and other Camping personnel. Anyways, let me shut one of these down. 
So that was a successful. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> that was another successful. <laughs> I still can't talk right. <laughs> successful. What am I doing? <laughs> I gotta turn it off. I'll put the lens covers on it up here. Anyways, yes. Another stealth camping site. And I had a couple picked out, but I, 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 I like that one. It was more wooded. The other one was um, power lines, not these, but on the other side of uh, Picks, Pickstown. And um, made my choice. It's supposed to be nice today, no rain at all. Uh, I'm gonna get a little warm again. Oh, that's okay. Trail should be good though. Looking forward to it. So I guess this would be a little bit muddy, shall we say. Frosty man, I got to give you credit. You've already this nice. It's uh, this has been really good. Oh, I love this kind of stuff. <laughs> Run, baby! <laughs> yeah, just don't cut in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> 